Welcome to session 17, regular Kronluth Amax. Now, you'll find Kronluth Amax usually as the closing variation on a lot of tunes. And uh, so they're, they're very important. Kronluth Amax are played only on B, C, and D. The opening note, which for a B will be a B, for a C will be a C, and for a, a D you'll see that's a B followed by a D throw, but these opening notes are short, usually one sixteenth notes. They all end on E and it's a dotted eighth note. So your ending note of every Kronlotha Mac is long. Okay, so let's look at some B Kronlotha a max. Now I'll walk you through that. You'll start with a G grace note on B, close the channel to low G, a D grace note on low G, go back to B with an E grace note followed by an F grace note on B, and then end on E. Let's try that again. G grace note on B, low G, D grace note on low G, E grace note to B, F grace note on B, and on E. One more time. High G grace note on B, close to low G, D grace note on low G, E grace note as you go to B, F grace note on B, and on E. Here's how that sounds. Again. one more time so you got it. Now it's important on the grip, make sure you get on the grip you get a good strong low G and a good D grace note in between. So let's do that a little faster. faster than that. And notice that the, the movement is all as one. Some people will play these. That's wrong. It has to be a continuous movement. Okay. Let's look at C Kronlow with the max. Again, you're going to start with a G grace note on C, close down to low G, a D grace note on low G, go back to C with an E grace note, F grace note on C, and then end on E. So do that again. High G grace note on C, close to low G, D grace note on low G, E grace note as you go to C, F grace note on C and on E. One more time. High G grace note on C. Low G, D grace note on low G. E grace note as you go to C. F grace note on C and on E. Here's how that sounds.
faster. This one there. Okay, a few more. Okay, let's look at D, Colonel of the Max. You're going to start off with a high G grace note on B. Close the chanter to the low G, make a D throw. Then your entry and on on the D and then end them on the E. So let's do that again. G grace note on B. Close. Open the chanter. Tap a C grace note. The entry on D and on E. G grace note on B. Close to low G. D. C grace note. E grace note on D. F grace note on D. Close to E. Or end on E. Here's how that sounds. time. Make sure you get the low G on the D throw portion. Without that low G, you've missed your Kronotha Mac. Don't segment it. Some people play this. That's wrong. All is one. Long ending E's. Okay, so those are regular Kronluth Amax. Okay, now for some practice on regular Kronluth Amax. We're going to go to the Lament for the Old Sword, uh, the Kronluth Amax variations. Now, the tune can be found, of course, in the Kilberry book on page 77 of the Peabert Society. And on page 11, of this publication, which is Sight Readable Kelmore, Kelmore's Peabrook, by Dougal McNeil. This is an excellent resource for anyone getting started in Peabrook. Uh, quite a few tunes in here with the nuances and phrasing well presented. And also with the book comes a CD with uh, Dougal uh, playing the tunes on a practice channel. So, very, very valuable resource for people just getting started in Peru. Highly recommended. Sight Readable Kelmore by Dougal McNeil. Okay, on to the Kronluth Amac Variations of the Lament for the Old Sword. line one and it repeats and now 
for line two. There you have it, a, a good mix of regular Kernel Oaths with regular Kernel Oaths the Max.